Fuck. Hey guys, you should ring my mate Jordan because on the 14th and 15th of this month he got told to take two days off by the doctor because he was sick and they told him he needs to get tested so he can get cleared of COVID. But he didn't go and get tested. I don't know what doctors so you might have to pretend you're the police. He's from Caboolture, so the Caboolture police station will be best to freak him out. His number is blah blah blah. Hmm. <gasps> All right, done. We're going to call this cunt. So I'm going to pretend to be from Caboolture Police Station and say that there are hospital records of him um, not getting tested. All right, so, ready? Hello. Hello. Am I speaking with uh, Jordan? Yep. Yeah, g'day, mate. It's just uh, Peter Sutton here from the Caboolture Police Station. Uh, do you have 10 minutes to just have a quick chat? Yeah. No worries. Uh, so we have a uh, report here from a hospital saying that you were due to come in for a... Uh, a corona test and uh, you failed to um, show I'm um, just wondering if there was a reason for that um, and uh, there's also a uh, medical certificate saying that you were meant to take two weeks off of work I never actually went through the doctor like it was a phone call yeah right yep. um, so yeah there, there is a pretty large uh, fine uh, for um, refusing to go and get tested um, and I didn't know that it was like compulsory yeah, well, yeah, mate. Well, it's it's uh it's pretty common knowledge at the moment. If you um get asked to go and um get tested for corona, that you should definitely go in and get tested. Um, there's there's some pretty huge fines out at the moment, mate. So that's what that's what that's what we're doing at the moment. All I had was um, a headache. Yeah, I know. yeah, mate. I totally understand. A lot of the a lot of the uh, people with coronavirus have very mild symptoms, but it's not really about you personally. It's more about the people that you're putting at risk. So, um, yep. if you don't go in and get checked, and you run into you know a, a 75 year old on the street, that's you could kill them. Do you know what I mean? So that's not yeah, really fair on on the um, older sort of generation. So. Um, yeah, look, uh, it's been what you mentioned last Thursday. It's uh, it's Tuesday now. Yeah, mate. Look, what we're gonna have to send out a fine. I'm afraid. There's a if if you get told to come in, you sort of have a 48 hour window, and I'm sure that the medical profession would have uh, mentioned that to you. 48 hours to go and get tested. Well, she didn't actually mention that. Yeah, right. Well, um, d she fault. did. Did she mention though to go and get tested for uh, Corona? She did mention it, but uh, yeah. she never said it was. Or yeah, well, I guess it's like just that. sort of it's sort of just implied at the moment, mate. Um, yeah, so it is a it is a fifteen hundred dollar fine at the moment. Are you serious? Yeah, I know, mate. It's uh, look, it, I can't afford that. My mum's going for fucking keen spurs, on it. Yeah, spurs, spurs, yeah, right. Spurs. Well, you know, you can you can just get it on spurs and just do very small um payment instalments. Um, or um, alternatively, um, yeah, you you can um, just give us like. Four or five hundred dollars cash. I don't have four or five hundred dollars cash either. Oh, come, come what do you on, have man. on you? What's in your wallet at the moment? What's in my wallet at the moment? Like fifty cents. <laughs> oh really? So you got like zero dollars cash? I got nothing on me. Like. All right. Well, what do you got on your cards? My cards. Yeah, like your savings. Surely you must have savings or something. No, not really. What do you like? Fifty, hundred bucks or something? Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, well, if you could maybe just pull that it? out and just bring that to uh, Caboolture Police Suck Station and we'll off. just... Because, yeah, like, we don't want to send out a $1,500 fine, but we got to sort of uh, prove that we were, uh, you know, that, that you job. were, that we did present you with an infringement and then if you just pay cash, then we can just say, yeah, yeah, he's sweet. Yep, so all I have to do is come down with, like, $100. Yeah, yeah, just whatever's in your account, just to Caboolture Police Station. <laughs> Just pull it out and, you know, even if it's just 50, 100 bucks or whatever and just bring it in and say uh, you need to speak to uh, Peter Wrangler, Constable Peter Wrangler, and then I'll just come out and I'll fucking, I'll remember this conversation. Wait, this isn't the police station, is it? No, no, it's um the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, Dad, dude. That's a fucking milk. Oh, man, we pranked fucking... you so hard, bro. Man, you were being out of really line. Bad. Yeah, yeah sorry, finish. dude. We fucking as soon as, as, soon as you bloody mentioned your content. your your mum was it on chemo? I just I, I like I couldn't yeah, even I couldn't even go sorry, through with dude. any of the jokes. It's horrible, dude. Yeah. Well, I, I thought it was a bit sketchy that you said bring a hundred bucks down to the police station. <laughs> yeah, of course you. Very would. unprofessional. Yeah, it was quite. Yeah. A, a quite Very rude. unprofessional policeman. But yeah, dude, thanks better. for being a part of the call oh, and um, uh, we h wish that your mum gets better and um, we wish yeah. you all the best, my friend. Your uh, mate, hang on, let me see who it was. Tim. 
uh, sent yeah. in your number and a bit of a backstory. So we thought we'd embarking a bit of a gacha. Hey. All right, dude, we love you. The guy's mum has fucking chemo. Tim, maybe mention that before you get us to prank call him. 